Okay guys, what we have here are the three predators seen at the very end of the film, fan-made film, Batman Dead End. Um, of course we have Big Red, Albino and the Wasp Predator. Um, yeah, quite happy to finally see these guys all together, wouldn't deny that. Um, the only problem I do have is I've watched the Batman Dead End film quite a few times. If you haven't watched it, first thing you do, as soon as you finish this video, please watch it, you will love it. Um, as a massive fan of Batman, Predator, Alien, you, you, you're not going to be let down, I promise you that. Um, but anyway, back to these figures from NECA. Um, from what I can tell, and I've watched the video, the, like I say, the, the film quite a few times, in the film, Wasp Predator doesn't have a mask on, but Albino does. So, make it that what you will. Whether that's given Necker an excuse to bring out these figures. <sighs> oh, sorry, um, exactly, you know, again, but with a masked one and an unmasked one, that's up to them. I won't deny that I think the, a, a, a masked wasp predator looks cool, purely because of the eyes, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, the, a wasp has more of a that you know that look to it I guess so that's what I like about it but um yeah gonna be a bit annoyed if, if Necker do do that but that's, that's of course up to them and that's essentially what they do um I'll just give you a quick look at these guys just in case you haven't seen the videos with the respective series that they come out with Big Red came out well I don't even want to say because I might get that wrong I think series 9 not too sure but um if you haven't if you haven't checked out the, the series video just just flick through my videos you'll you'll see him in there and you'll be able to see which series he came out with um so essentially he has got the most most bits of new sculpted pieces to him being yeah you know, the little bobble on the on the mask um this samurai sort of belt going on here of course his samurai swords and two swords of different lengths on there so he came, you know, he, he's, and, and of course the, the blade on the other arm as well, his gold blade. So yeah, he's he's cool. He's obviously the standout figure in this this set of three, if you ask me, to be honest. And uh, yeah, definitely out of the three, he's the one I'd get, to be honest. So that's Big Red. We then have Albino, and he was an SDCC exclusive. Uh, it can be quite hard to get hold of now, to be honest. Um, people, they were selling for silly money, and then the UK Necker store was selling them for 18 quid. Uh, they obviously, they they were gone in, gone in no time, to be honest. Um, essentially, it's just the classic Predator with a different paint. There's nothing new there, nothing exciting there. Um, he even looks like he's unpainted, really, to be honest. So. Um, but obviously being an SDCC exclusive became quite hard hard to get hold of. Um, yeah, and so he's part of the, the fodder, really, in terms of, you know, an expanded universe predator that Neko brought out. And then lastly we have the Wasp, which has just come out with Series 11 off the top of my head. So, um, now again, it's just the classic predator, nothing new going on there, nothing nothing exciting really to tell you in terms of the articulation um, the only best thing it comes with is obviously this massive spear with an alien xenomorph head on the top on there so that my friends is a look at the three predators from Batman Dead End I must say they do look pretty cool together um, you know they they do not look too bad with all your other predators as well. I'll, I'll, I'll obviously do a, an update video. If you haven't seen my Nega Predator, or well, I should say Predator figure collection videos, I'll show you a, one of them updated very soon. Just, just you know, and you'll see that they don't look too bad with all the others. Um, the, the, the three of them do stand out quite a bit, which is probably un understandable, being they're quite striking, you know, with him being so pale red and the yellow going on there um, 
whereas the whole point of Predator is blending in and not being really noticed I guess so um, so they, like I say they do stand out in the collection but yeah you can't get wrong if you can get these three guys um, I, I, I to be honest I, I think it would look a bit funny if you just had one of them you know you might get someone just going uh, what on earth's going on there but you know you've got the three together you can obviously explain that they're the three from the Batman Dead End film um, yeah and if you ask me yeah I'm quite, quite happy with them I'm not going to really moan too much about them I, I know I've been a bit down on my videos lately just because I've been a little bit bit um, uninspired by what NECA are bringing out lately but yeah I know we've got the new NECA Predator line coming out with there's another series of Kenner ones coming out I'm not going to get too excited about them I'm obviously not going to get excited about the, the Elder I don't really see why we need another one of him um, and okay, fair enough, more articulation, but what did the Elder do? He just stood there. We don't need him in a striking pose or anything. You don't really play with them. They're not, you know, they, you just put them in a, in a statue stance and that's it. So the Elder Predator I have does exactly the job it needs. Why we need another one? I don't know. That's down to Necker to decide. Um, and of course, the Enforcer and the Bad Blood Predator is coming. Fair enough. I can understand why they're doing that, but again, I just, I just would rather Necker got on with sorting out Duchess team, to be honest, if you ask me. Um, but anyway, that's my little moan. You take care, guys. Obviously, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Please leave messages. I'll always try and get back to everyone as quickly as I can. And I'll catch you all again soon. All the best, guys. You take care. Bye-bye.